about it, <coughs> which is the most important problem in um, Turkey, and it's uh, about the not getting, not uh, throwing garbage all over the place and in, in cities, in the environment, and everywhere. So we mainly took that into account and tried to find like, the best ways to well, fix it, I guess, or do something about it at least. So we, we like the idea to work on this problem from a lot of points of view. So uh, we can try not to resolve but to improve our, I don't know. <laughs> Work on this. Yeah. And we cannot solve those ones uh, for another person, but the ideas which they created, they are to we, uh, yeah, we created uh, like more realistic uh, ideas to not say we will destroy the whole disease in one day, and we just uh, act more realistic to uh, creating those politics. So if they will mention right now the. Ideas, which is real estate. Uh, so, one point of view we thought is like we could uh, increase the control of it. For, so, for example, like what I've told us, there is not a lot, like there are laws about throwing garbage on the street, but they, uh, on their country it's never used. So, no policeman will come and tell you that like, you have to pay 100 euros because you threw a plastic bottle on the street. So. It's, it's, a, it's a kind of a bad way, but it, it, it does work in a lot of countries because, like, when, when, you, when you will start, you will say, like, uh, you will get a fine, you will pay, like, 50 euros, let's say, you will get a second fine, you will pay another 100 euros, you will get a third, and you will say, ah, okay, then I will just throw the bottle in the bin because I, I can't pay fines forever. So that's one way to kind of fix a little bit the problem. problem. Well, I have also uh, an example for a solution that, uh, like uh, separate garbage. In Croatia, we are separate, like uh, plastic in the plastic, non minis in non minis. Um, but if you don't uh, separate for it, you can uh, pay a punishment for that. If they find you, of course, <laughs> and uh, if you have uh, more clothes inside of the rash, you can also pay a punishment. But uh, if everybody not doing that, I don't know that is like nothing uh, for that <coughs> nation, nation. If uh, somebody doesn't do that, somebody that's not that is not okay. So, so it's like everyone has to, to make the, the change. Like it doesn't <laughs> you should, you should okay. say that. Yeah. So good to put some more uh, trash pieces, for example, uh, in the white area, like the beach, so people uh, can see it and remember to don't give it to trash. Uh, I also want to give an example. Of course, there's something, some good things happens also even in Turkey. Uh, nowadays, uh, in Istanbul, uh, they started to collect bottles, uh, like glass or the plastic bottles. When you put your bottles to a machine, you can put your travel card so some money. Like if you put ten uh, bottle, like you are. Uh, let's say having one or two euro, so it's a, a little motivation, but a motivation. It's really good. I saw lots of people who is in the metro stations. They <coughs> always have with their huge bags with the full of bottles. So all the time, the little motivations affects the people. So normally, if they put them to the trash, and uh, they don't, some of them don't. They are just collecting them to go into metro stations or the areas which they have those machines, they are putting them to the machine. So it's a little thing, uh, but a motivation always affects people. And when you have little motivations, after some time people can understand what is the behind of this. So it's just to protect your environment. So even without uh, having those motivations, which means money, uh, they will start to be more recycling. And that's it. Thanks for the attention. Thank you.